Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody on Facebook, on my Facebook page, asked for this, and I didn't see it. I think it was a couple of days ago, and she wanted it converted to a SVG file for printing T-shirts. And here I've done it; and it came out really good, and it was easy. So we're gonna Control G and group all that together, and I'll just show you how to did it. It's small. And that's to our advantage because then you can make it any size you want. It's only three inches. I'm going to go to bitmap resample. And it's already 300 dots per inch, which is perfect. I'm going to go to bitmap and convert to bitmap. And I'm going to pick black and white just to see what happens. Now, I did lose some of the detail. It took out some of the dots, but you could very easily add dots. I'm going to go to trace. Your trace might be under bitmap outline trace clip art it still wants to reduce it this will take just a second and the reason for this video is it's a little bit different in because it's really an all black background so your new copy should be on the top and you can see it's pretty clear we'll erase the old one we're going to make a yellow box put it to the background and you see it's all white but if you break it apart and move the crab, you get a white background. And I think she wants the shirt basically reversed. So we're going to take this and we're going to go to Effects, Transform, and Invert Colors. Now we can take away the outside box. But when we take away the crab, so I'm going to set my nudge distance on three inches. When we take away the crab, it leaves just a black background, which is fine. And I'm going to try a couple of different things here. I'm going to try to hold down the alt button. Well, that's not going to really work. I'm just going to have to get the whites. Try not to get the black. See, I, well, can't really tell. Just get the white, don't get the black. And I'm just nudging it over the same distance. Now you've got some white in here. But since the black is an all solid, well, it's not. But you could get a lot of the white by holding down the, the Alt button. And selecting, well, it's going to select my yellow. So I'm going to go up to a range. And I'm going to lock, and I'm going to lock my yellow. Then I'm going to hold, hold down the Alt button. And I was able to grab all those whites. Nope. It's grabbing the black because I did the alt button. But that's no problem. You can just go through and nudge these whites over. Now you could do this with find and replace. And get all the whites and move them over at one time. But there's not that many. And like I said, it's, it's lost some of its detail. But just depending on how much detail you want in your drawing... I think there's one more up top. A couple more here. We'll be through. And this is what I like about Corel. And the reason I couldn't just select the white, because there is some white or black parts of those letters that are in this drawing. So I've got all the white. I'm going to take my black and I'm going to put no fill and I'm going to put a red outline. Then I'm going to take my crab and the crab man and the spots, and I'm going to go no fill, red outline. Now I've got everything selected. I'm just going to nudge it back over. Let's zoom in here. And I'm going to take my smart fill tool and fill that in. Voila. Now you would want to definitely take away the outline. So I'm going to left click no outline. Now we can check on our yellow box, which we can't even click, click on because it's locked, so we'll unlock it. And there you have a pretty good file. I don't even think it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Now, to save this as an SVG file, you go to File and Export. And right there is an SVG file, and then just save it, whatever. I, I've already saved it. And I'm waiting for the person to email me. I'll email them the file. But when you save as, you're just saving as a Corel file. But when you export, you can export it as an 
a number of different, you can save it as a JPEG or a, even a DXF and so on and so on. Anyway, I hope that helps a little bit. Thank you for watching.